Want to pass the CFP exam the first time? Great. Let's look at what's truly important, what's not important, and why. Data proves when students choose the Dalton Review, pass rates are higher. When they don't choose the Dalton Review, pass rates drop. The national pass rate on the CFP exam, as published by the CFP board, is around 62%. For the Dalton Review, our average pass rate is 75%. The simple truth is the Dalton Review works and helps students pass at a higher rate. What happens when you apply our philosophy of teaching the material plus students doing work to the equation? Here are Dalton students who passed and did the work versus the national average. Students that did the work have a 90% pass rate on the CFP exam. The delta between performance of Dalton students that did the work versus the national pass rate becomes even more significant when you remove Dalton students from the national pass rate. The national pass rate falls to 59%. This is what happens when you combine the Dalton philosophy of teaching the material plus our students doing work to the equation. This gap between Dalton students and the national pass rate without Dalton students is what we call the Dalton difference. And it's a big difference. Now, that's a great number, but it's not what really matters, and here's why. Published pass rates are notoriously inaccurate. The CFP board does not release enough information to calculate a precise pass rate for individual CFP exam review providers. To compensate, rates are often based on surveys, small samples, or incomplete data. More importantly, pass rates tell you absolutely nothing about how you will actually do on the exam. So let's look at what really matters. Our data scientists have analyzed performance on our exam readiness assessment to results on the CFP exam, and the correlation is astonishing. This chart shows the relationship between the amount of work Dalton students did as measured by their score on the exam readiness assessment and their results on the CFP exam. Our data shows the more work Dalton students do, the better they perform on our exam readiness assessment and the better they perform on the CFP exam. That's why we are the only review provider to offer a 100% money back guarantee that you'll pass the CFP exam or receive a full refund. And that matters. When we look at the average scores of each of these groups of students, you see that the non-Dalton students have an average pass rate much closer to the national average. Again, the Dalton difference is big. Sure, the CFP exam is a pass-fail exam, but how close do you want to cut it? How thin of a difference do you really want on exam day? Now, let's talk about how Dalton will help you achieve the biggest Dalton difference on the CFP exam. Let's talk about what your studies will be like. It starts with our review readiness assessment. It's the roadmap that will help guide your studies. The review readiness assessment also compares your individual performance to all Dalton students so you have an idea of how you stack up. From there, you'll spend about one third of your time working through our reading materials and questions. This is a great opportunity to focus on those items identified as weaknesses on the review readiness assessment. You'll spend about another one third of your time acquiring knowledge through lectures and another third of your time on practice exam questions that build on complexity throughout the course. Notice how you can select your confidence level after answering each question. This helps you later work on questions that you may have gotten right, but weren't confident in your answer. Maybe you got lucky and guessed your way to the right answer, or maybe you were highly confident in your answer, but missed the question. In that case, you thought you knew the concept, but really didn't. The mini cases and cases on the CFP exam are very important. So, a good portion of your practice exam question time will be spent applying your knowledge and working on your strategy to attack cases. About two to three weeks before your CFP exam, you'll take Dalton's exam readiness assessment. 
It's similar to the review readiness assessment, where you are tested on the same learning objectives at the same rigor level. But more on this in a bit. You'll see how you performed on the most important topics and subtopics, and be able to compare your performance to thousands of other Dalton students. After the exam readiness assessment, you'll take Dalton's simulated CFP exam. You'll learn exactly how it feels to sit and survive the CFP exam. That's an important lesson. For students in our Guarantee to Pass review, you'll also receive hundreds of additional questions and hours of additional lectures designed to stretch your knowledge and prepare you for some of the most difficult concepts tested on the CFP exam. This extra material is only for our Guarantee to Pass students. The more you learn, the more likely you are to be able to answer a question regardless of how it's asked. So, there's the 30,000 foot view of how you'll spend your time. But which activities, assignments, and content matter the most? Or in some cases, the least? Our data scientists have analyzed and determined which content and questions within our exam readiness assessment are deterministic on the CFP exam. In other words, if you get certain questions correct, you're likely to pass the CFP exam. If you miss certain questions, you're likely to fail the CFP exam. Because of this data, we are able to determine a predicted probability of you passing the CFP exam. Our data shows the more work you complete, the better your score on the exam readiness assessment, the higher the probability of you passing the CFP exam. In fact, students scoring a 60% or higher have a 75% predicted probability of passing the CFP exam. That's reassuring. The exam readiness assessment will also provide you with a master plan for the final two weeks of preparation. It will show your progress and any remaining weaknesses since the review readiness assessment. You then use that information to shape your studies the final two weeks, focusing on your weakest areas. All content provided throughout the Dalton Review course is correlated to success on the CFP exam. Our data shows that everyone gets the easy stuff right. It's the more difficult and challenging material that separate those that pass from those that fail. Dalton is different. Dalton works better, data proves it. Now it's time to put Dalton to work for you, just like over half of all current CFP professionals.